Back to the void with you. Back to the void. Get back in the fucking void. That's You're a, not cut out for the third dimension. It's for winners like us. That's a good name for the episode. Back to the void. It's for winners like us who dominate and take and take more. Even when we're full, we take more because it's our plate and it's not full until we say it's full. And we're going to take off of your plate no matter what because it's ours. Big body lamb truck. One shot, baby. One shot. That's all we get. One opportunity. If you had one shot, one moment to blow up, would you capture it or let it slip? We got a crazy angle today. We're working on a podcast revamp for you guys. For uh, for you, not for us. For you. It's altruistic. You fucking animals. You don't deserve any of this. You do nothing all day. Seriously. You do nothing to gain anything, and we still give you this free slop, and you're going to eat it up because well, you love it. We're on such a serious grind set right now. It's insane. I've been fucking... Uh, dude, my I've been my energy levels have been nuts. Yesterday, I was pretty pretty low energy. Here's one. I put it in my top lip because if I put it in the bottom lip, it, it really fucks up. But the thing is, it's going to be really dry, and you should drink a tiny bit of water to like wet it up a little. I got a real wet mouth, boy. And then just let it sit there because... Sometimes the taste can be a little weird at first, but now we're in. We're zinned up. We're zinned up. We're ready to beat women. Dude, I've been fucking grinding, dude. And let me guess. Your bitch ain't helping you out at all. She ain't holding you down. She holding you back. Dude, I've been ab and thigh pose thought process for the last, however long ago we started talking about this, I've been like locked in. A week? It feels like a lifetime. It honestly feels like... I'd say I'm 85% locked in. I had a little bit too much carbs throughout the week. What What have you had in terms of carbs? <sighs> this is some spicy shit we got in our mouth right now. Um, yeah, your heart rate is... Your heart's going to explode. I know. I'm even trying to think of uh, what, what I had. Um, lentil soup? Does that have carbs? Lentil soup, yeah. It had some rice in it. Stuff like that. Like some chicken I had with... Uh, <laughs> there were some potato wedges. <laughs> He's... It's good. You give it a second. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't swish it around too much. Just let it sit there because otherwise you're going to start getting all that sauce in your mouth too fast and you're going to feel weird. I'm all that sauce. Um, I've been eating so clean. One day I had carbs. like, Or I've probably had carbs like intermittently by accident. but like, By accident. Or two days I've had carbs. One day I had rice with my food. It mm-hmm. was like some rice that was already mixed. It was like... It was like Filipino rice or some shit. I don't know. It had a couple pieces of meat in it and stuff. I ate that with my food. And then yesterday I had grapes with with stuff. And that was probably the extent of my carbs for like the whole week. Today I think I'm going to have carbs though. I'm, That's an epic win. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have uh, like Chipotle or something like that. Because it's, uh, I don't know. I feel like I need a kind of a, like a higher calorie day today. Yeah, you're absolutely wasting away. I feel really good, but I just think I should because my rib kind of hurts and like I'm a little like my joints are a little stiff. So have you played golf before? Uh, I used to go to the driving range with my dad or my grandpa a lot when I was a a, lot. when I was a kid. Yeah, we used to go. So a lot. you're gonna smoke me? No, I'm really bad. But uh, but I've literally never hit, held a golf club before. Yeah, but the last time I held a golf club, I was like seven. Oh. It's in gain. It's like in, it's ingrained though, because I started when I was four, like Tiger Woods. In gained. In it's ingained. It's ingained. <sighs> Dude, I I'm convincing my mom to about the microgreens. Like I'm trying to get her. We have an empty room in our house, mm-hmm. and uh, I have an office. I I'm starting to feel like like what is a microgreen? Dude, it's so based. Like what? It, no, but like give me an example of one. Uh, uh, broccoli. So oh, okay. take like an actual flower of broccoli, like or the whole thing, and then imagine it when it's just been growing for eight days, and it's just a little sprout. Yeah, that's it. So and it's, then what do you do with that? You you harvest it, and then eat it, and then you eat it and you sell it because the the whole thing is it's like a health food store thing or like a farmers market thing because it has all the same nutrients as a full head of broccoli, but it's a little sprout. Mm. I don't know if it has the like one to one. So it's a Brussels sprout. Even, dude, it's literally just like a little, like, sapling thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's like wheatgrass and stuff. Yeah, okay, okay. But it grows every seven, you can harvest every seven days. Like a Minecraft farm. Dude, faster. Like, way faster. And legal. (laughs) I was talking about actual Minecraft farms. Oh. (laughs) But I know what you thought I was talking about. 
that's going great. Um, our server, but uh, fucking, uh, so so the microgreen stuff. It's like th- there's you can do like Brussels sprouts, sunflowers, and the like, uh, fuck, or not sorry, broccoli, sunflowers, and then like I'm uh, peas, peas, and like a couple other things. Mm-hmm. And if you put that together and you just have a rack that's like the width. Like ha- uh, three quarters of the width of your desk, and as tall as your top monitor, mm-hmm. you can make five hundred dollars a week off that. And okay. it costs it costs about five hundred dollars to start it. So like that closet right there, you yeah, could you get a couple going probably. You could have yes, you could probably make six hundred dollars a week off your off your closet, and it would cost about five to six hundred dollars to start it. I don't have that kind of money. I blew it all on the NBA finals. Did you bet on the NBA Finals? I didn't tell you I bet 300 bucks on the NBA Finals. No. I bet 150 bucks that this guy would score over 27 and a half points. And? And not only that, I and bet 150 half. bucks that he would get over 29 and a half points, over 10 and a half assists. They would win the game. Yeah. And that he would make two three-pointers. It's a weird parlay. But it almost hit. Almost. He scored 27 points. Damn it, dude. So I needed him to score one more, and I would have been even. Because yeah. that bet would have, like, canceled out my other, the parlay. Yeah. And the par- and he went one for two from the three-point line. So if he would have made that one he missed, I would have hit everything. I would have made, like, I would have made, cr- like, 1,200. <laughs> Damn. So. Now you're sitting in the hole. It's fun, though. Once a year. I'm not, I, I don't think I could put 20 or 30 on every game like some people, you know. Yeah, mm, some that's people. Crazy. He, that's not even like I'm sure it's more than that. <laughs> yeah, probably, dude. But you could probably get him to tell you the truth on the weekend. I thought it was a pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, sniff, sniff at it. One miss, one make. Well, if one miss was a make, that I hit. I wish that was part of the real world. Was how to bet. How to bet, dude? That is a interesting. Oh yeah, how is the Andrew Tate's the real world? It's. Cool, like the the classes. The are part, there classes? So yeah, there's it's actually the the classes is the good part of it. Mm-hmm. It's it looks almost identical to Discord. There's I ch- thought it was Discord. That's a separate program. It's a it's a separate pro- website. That's but, a web. Oh wow, I thought it was a Discord. But there's also an app on the phone. But it looks like Discord. Yeah, almost, and it operates exactly like Discord. And it looks almost, almost. exactly. Yeah, it they somehow stole Discord. And then, um, but it's not Discord, which is cool. And then, so, all these chats, and then there's all these people in it talking. That's the worst part. That is the absolute worst God, part. this woman's a slut in my life. Not even, yeah, it is people from different countries, a lot. And it's all people who were, like, posting videos of themselves trying to act like Tate, but they have, like, a lisp and they're retarded. No, you'd have, to, dude, we gotta, exp- we gotta react to these people. I know. That would be epic. Because it's guys, I had this one dude, I watched this video of this dude, because I should say, all of the courses seem legit so far, but I think what I'm going to end up doing is, like, power watch all the stuff I wanted to, and then unsubscribe. Yeah. Yeah, get, just screen record your <laughs> your, your computer. <laughs> yeah, but, like, because the community aspect of it would be cool if people were based in there. It's a lot of people who are, like, genuinely retarded in there. Yeah, like people like, that look like Lex Friedman who disrespect their teacher. People, yes, dude. People who were like bamboozled, like they they were tricked into this because they weren't tricked into it. Like they did it on their own on a own accord, and I did it as well. So you could say I was tricked. But like the classes are cool. The people in it that it attracts are like uh, the guy from Fish Tank, the retarded dude, John. Fish Tank. The Sam Hyde thing. It, oh, but like it it attracts like. Dudes who aren't all the way there. Speaking of Sam Hyde, he was on the PKA podcast. You yeah. know PKA? Yes. <laughs> he you. was trolling the fuck out of Woody and F- Kyle. Also, Taylor's wife cheated on him and divorced him. Or he divorced her. But Man, Like in recently? Yeah, like a month ago. Hell yeah. But Sam literally ant- like called them from a public park. <laughs> like he just set his phone up on a garbage can. Yeah. And FaceTimed in, and it would keep falling and stuff, and he'd have to keep picking it up. Yeah. 
And he knows that Woody hates that because Woody thinks he's like, this is one of the best podcasts on Highest Earth. Produce. This is one of the most popular podcasts, at all, longest running, most popular podcast. I think there's more PKAs than Joe, JREs. I believe it. There's not as many JREs as I thought. They're on like what, 900 and? They're on 1900 something. Um, but if you include the fight companions and the uh, protect and the sorry, not the protector parks. If you include the fight companions and the MMA shows, mm-hmm. he's at like two twenty two hundred or something. Yeah, there's definitely yeah, not. Oh that. shit, my bad. There's definitely not that many PKAs. I forgot that Joe does like five podcasts a week. It's insane how many he does a week. Because uh, they're only on like PKA seven hundred, yeah, six fifty. But yeah. that's once a week. That's good that's for like them. Tw- that's twelve years. Yeah, and they're fucking retarded still. They're st- oh my god, they got more and more retarded over time. Woody's daughter went to college and came home with a black baby, and he had to raise it. That's that's actually good content. That's based in red pill. That's actually, actually based in red pill content, dude. I what else? Oh, vid IQ. Oh, I, yeah, I I subscribe to that. Kind of expensive. Like I'm I'm starting to realize I have a lot of things I've been subscribing to that are gonna add up. <laughs> like my monthly expenditure has gone up a lot. Well. Gotta after make more this, money. After this one month, you'll you'll cut the fat off. Yeah, I'm gonna I think what I might do is pause mid journey or go down to the lower tier. Mm. Um but I use it a lot. So I might keep mid journey. Um I'm going to probably get rid of the real world thing because I think I'm going to use all of the lessons that they give me, and then I'm going to continue to use VidIQ. Because VidIQ is actually insane. It's like a, it's like a, um, what is it called when you have a thing that's part of your taskbar in, in in Google? An extension. It's an extension as long as also a website though, and it interacts with YouTube. Like they must be partnered. No, they're not. I know exactly where it is. It'll like rate the video you're watching on a scale of zero to a hundred, and then a whole bunch yes. of other analytics. And, and then stuff. there's other analytics too. I think it used to be free, and then people realize how mu- how powerful of a tool it was, Dude. and they're like, "We're gonna put this behind a paywall for tags." And also, it our uh, our uh, channel has at least enough content for it was able to like show us what times to post at that are actually good for us specifically. Um, it also has the ability to rate tags. Like, really, really cool tags where it's, well, shitty gay tags, but it rates it where it's, like, it shows you 1 through 100, 100 being the best, and then it also shows you the competition. Mm. So it goes, okay, this is a really great tag, but it's very competitive. Mm, I see what you're saying. So the goal, I'm assuming, is to find very good tags that are, that are not competitive. Yeah. So that's what I've been messing around with. I didn't post that clip yet. I think I'm going to post it, like, 9 p.m. Did we get 100 likes on that one clip yet? Dude, you know what's crazy is we had like 80-something, and then it went down to like 74. Really? Yeah, and then also like a few people unsubscribed because that's just kind of the nature of that. Oh, only one person. We're back to 100. We're back to 100? Yeah. Damn, we were at 104. Oh, oh, I only saw 101. Yeah, it's whatever. That's fire anyway. It, oh, stop! Hmm. It, and I think the next clip's even better. The Project X music did. Yeah, the uh, next one coming out is better. So I think that's going to be my new daily schedule is waking up at like 7.30. Not not crazy early, dude. Sleeping in like... Sleeping in 7.30. And then rolling out of bed, meandering. Going straight upstairs to the office and doing a clip. One clip. Like a really good clip like that, though. Mm. Then go to like jujitsu or go to the gym or something. And then if I have work, I'll go to work. And if I don't have work, I'll probably edit a full episode. And then work on whatever, like, business thing I want to work on, which right now is microgreens. And True. If once we, once I'm settled in here, maybe next week or whatever, like I said, we should probably try and schedule your gym time to, like, line up to right when I'm about to get off of work. Yeah. So then when you can come here, and that way we could, like, dual edit clips on here. Like, I'll do it, and then you'll, we'll both be, yeah. oh, well, do this, do this, or, or, we or the whole episode. Clip. Or we could each edit a clip, or we could both exactly work back and forth, or whatever, air dropping stuff to each other. Yeah, that like our workflow. I think, dude, like my energy is insane right now. Yesterday, I had a low energy day, like super low, because I got bad sleep because the day before my girlfriend came over and we stayed up late, and uh, I just she's a gains goblin. <laughs> no, she's a gains goblin. She's draining you of all your male energy. It was my fault. I just wouldn't shut up. I was. I just kept talking. 
And then she destroyed your root chakra and you guys went to bed and yeah. she met your religious parents? Hell yeah. Oh my God, that is so fucking annoying. I know. Whatever, fuck them. I love that though. It's just like, it's like people don't know the life they're living really. It's like when you're in the first person, it's hard to see. But when you're in the third person puppet master chair, you see all. Dude, I'm in the omnipresent view right now. I can remote view anywhere in the world. Dude, oh, dude, we should get in an RV tournament. <laughs> dude, we really need to get in an RV tournament. Could you imagine if you just, like, if you weren't seeing anything, but somehow you were just guessing everything correctly? That would be hilarious. And, like, people open the envelope, and you're like, it's a star with a smiley face within a circle. <laughs> and they open it up, it's exactly that. And you're like, yeah, I knew it. And the, you don't even have a reaction because you already knew it. <laughs> dude, yeah, it's like, what, whatever, dude. It's like breakfast. Go ahead, pull it out so you idiots can see that I'm right. <laughs> I'm David Blaine, motherfucker. You're nobody. I am everybody. So I think microgreens with gourmet mushrooms and trying to break into the farmer's market uh, ideal and then using Facebook advertising, like paid advertisement. Bunky reacts. Dude, there's so much space. Put the webcam right there. We're watching the vertical videos, right? TikTok, YouTube Reel Reacts. And we can have a video here. And, and honestly, you know what would make it even more palatable to all these idiots? What? We could have two screens playing two different videos that we're reacting to at the same time. <laughs> but one of them's just Family Guy Season 7, Episode 13. <laughs> yes. And then we could do that in long form, quote unquote, seven minute, nine minute videos. What do you think's the best cartoon you've ever seen? Like a whole series or a show um, that's animated. That's the only yeah, requirement. Yeah. It's going to be something from my childhood. It's going to be something like Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy or like uh, Kids Next Do- Codename Kids Next Door or something like that. Where the where the the world that they're in is like epic, like where you're just like fantasizing about being there. Yeah, my I have two that are tied with each other. Probably SpongeBob is like just the goat, though. Number one, the misadventures, the marvelous misadventures of Flapjack. Flapjack, I was gonna say Flapjack. That's number one for me. Number two, regular show. Mm-hmm. You I didn't mean, like regular show? I thought that I didn't get the I didn't get it. I think, like I thought it was really slow. Both of those shows have like the same comedic element where like. A character you've never seen before will provide the plot fix and you'll never see them again. And it'll be completely un- unexplicable, but you just needed that plot device, you know? Yeah. So th- it'll be like a random fairy <laughs> that's like, that looks like a turtle but has a crown on. He'll go, oh, hippity dippity doo. And then they'll all teleport back <laughs> into their bedroom or something. Yeah. Which I find hilarious. There, what else? Is, there's a oh, there was like a fever dream show that came out and like when I, once we were a little older, the mountain a, uncle grandpa. I hated this show, and I remember watching it and being like, "This is who came up with this? It's so weird." Yeah, that one sucked. Um, I didn't like Gumball. Oh, uh, I thought that the the editing style, like the way that they yeah. did that, was really unique and cool. Oh, number three is Chowder. Chowder for sure, and because they had the the background that like, had the best animation. Yeah, because it's like they had a bunch of layers. Yeah, exactly. But the background was the background, and then characters would move, and their shirts wouldn't move. Yes, that was uh, but that wasn't cool as hell. I feel like everything kind of stole from Flapjack because Flapjack came out in two thousand and six. Dude, Flapjack because they would do the flap. The I I think Flapjack took from SpongeBob kind of with like the. Where they, you know, they pan to their face. And it's, it's like really realistic. Cool. Yeah. That's from SpongeBob. Yeah. that But that's, I think that might be old, even older. But yeah, SpongeBob probably did do that first. And, but like Rick and Morty stole a lot of stuff from Flapjack. Like their lips, the salivation, the. Yeah. The mannerisms and stuff like that. Flapjack was weird. It was kind of like, demo- not demonic, but it was like, there was like weird elements of like creepy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And same thing with Courage, but that was like way creepier. Courage was, like, scary. Yeah, 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 literally. Invader Zim, that show, I can't remember if I liked it or not. I did not like it. That was something for weirdos, I thought. I We would watch it late night. It was, like, normie core, I thought. like. I just remember it would come on really late, and it was a cartoon. That's a chick show. <laughs> so true. That's for chicks. That's for sluts that cut themselves. The AKA best. AKA the ones I'm into. It's so true. 
if it, if I'm hooking up with a woman and I don't see battle scars on her, I'm out. Yeah, you're punching her in the head and you're giving her one. <laughs> and then I'm carving my name on her thigh. Ugh. <laughs> that is fucking insane. Uh, dude, my grind, unreal. Untouchable at this point. Spy Girls was good, too. Oh, dude, uh, t- Life of a Teenage Robot. Oh, yeah, that one was good, too. Jenny, bro. You know what's a weird one that I liked a lot? That's a good cartoon porn. Yeah, that one was a good one, too. <laughs> Code Loyoko or Code... I don't know that. You don't know that one? No. Code Lo- Loki, Loiko. Ugh. That one was like a weird 3D anime kind of thing where, like... There was, like, a game world and a real world, and, like, these high school kids would have, like, high school beef, but that... They would have, like, high school problems, and then also they would have, like, a... Like, you know how Spider-Man was like, oh, I gotta go to school, blah, blah, blah. Oh, no, I gotta save the city, and now I'm the... Like, it was kind of like that. Mm. It was like the classic superhero uh, living multiple personalities and multiple lives. Like Teen Titans? Oh, that's another one. Teen I lo- Titans! That actually might be up... That might be top five, too. Yeah. Another great cartoon. The board. original, the that those are the best. <laughs> Danny Phantom, eh, it's all right. Uh, uh oh, dude, freaking uh, Fairly Odd Parents, bro. That's sure. pretty good. I, I like that one a lot. Adventure Time's a classic, also. Yeah, I was, dude. I, I think that that show is actually awesome, but I never got into it because I thought everybody that liked it was such a loser. Mathematical. Dude, I, I watched it, like, when it came on TV, but I never, like, went out of my way to watch it. And I, I just think it was because there were so many dorks with, like, backpacks and uh, buttons yeah. and stuff. And, and, and the hat, yeah. yeah. The fin hat. The fin hat, bro. We should start wearing fin hats. That would be hilarious. Imagine if we went golfing in with the fucking no. <laughs> fin hats. I couldn't imagine it, honestly. Too based. Too. They would think it's those feminist hats. <laughs> it's like white power feminism. <laughs> Dude, I, so I saw a hoodie the other day, or it wasn't the other day. It was like a while ago, but it was a hoodie where it had a pointed hood. Yeah. And when you put it on, it like you wear it, but it, it's like a regular hoodie, but it like points up like this. Fire. So fucking cool, dude. To put a hex on somebody. Yeah. It's on my demon time or shit. What's your, uh, so your work, did you end up doing all the burpees or no? Yeah, of course. <sighs> I do them at work, too. I don't do the burpees at work. I just do the jumping jacks. Dude, burpees are so hard. Like, I remember. I think I, I must be good at them then. When I did 100 burpees a day, there was a time when I was doing 100 burpees a day, and I would do it in the span of, like, 15, 20 minutes. Oh, that's a lot. And I was so gassed. Like, that was, like, my my warm-up. But then uh, by the time I was done, it was like I was exhausted. Yeah, if you really want to get your heart rate up, you want to do, bur- like I said, this is the pro hack to fat burning out there. Do the burpees, but with a pull-up in between when you shoot up. Ugh. But it's easy. When you shoot up, yeah. you use that momentum. It's a sissy pull-up. Yeah, but that whole extra momentum of you using your upper body it gets your heart pumping even more than just. I've been working out every single day. Since we started, and I'm gonna oh, continue dude. to work out every single day. I think my neck. I think I got taller because of the, all these neck stretches I'm doing. Yeah, that's good. It's insane. Like my neck, my posture's never been better. My neck muscle, my disgusting bumps on my neck are minimizing. My posture is insanely bad. No, like, but yeah. I literally sit like this. <laughs> like most of the time, I sit like this. I sit like this. <laughs> scroll, scroll, scroll. You go, huh? <laughs> Did you hear, did you see that Andrea Botez Reddit thing I said you? No, I didn't. I saw the title of it and I went, I don't know. No, but then this guy would post like the most terrible drawings of him having sexual intercourse with Andrea. Oh, it was Botez. a drawing. I thought I figured it was like a fake Photoshop or something. I didn't look at it, but I assumed what it was was like a her head on some porn star or something. No, the video was their mom saying the n word <laughs> because they're from Romania. Yeah. And she goes, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. No. Catch a neighbor by the toe. And they both look at their mom like, <gasps> you did not just say that. And then she goes, oh, I'm from Romania. I don't know. I don't know. It was on live or something? Yeah, it was on live. Oh, was, so they had to pretend to be mad? They had, they had to be shocked, dude. They were like, 
I think about that sometimes, how when our podcast blows up, like, uh, we're, we're going to get in trouble for something, but I doubt it's going to be the end. I bet it's going to be something we weren't expecting. Like, it's not going to be us being sexist or racist. It's going to be, like, some other weird thing that we weren't expecting. Like admitting to rape? <laughs> I don't think we've done that. Oh, you're right. My bad. You didn't think, what about the I thought one that was <laughs> funny. I just didn't have time to respond. <laughs> the ripped guy, yeah. You, you never seen that, dude? Yeah, oh. I've seen that guy. He's so annoying. He makes a lot of fucking money. Obviously, when he looks like that. Ab thigh pose money. I know. Like That's the whole point. Like That's, that's the kind of money I want is ab and thigh pose money. That's the example of... Uh, do you think I could do microgreens and ab and thigh pose in front of it? Oh, most definitely. I think that it would be such a good thumbnail. <laughs> no. <laughs> that is insane. And he's like in a crown on his head. Artwork of me fucking Andrea Botez. How I'd love the cream in between those plump butt cheeks. Jesus, that guy is depraved. Look, look there's like cum. <laughs> <laughs> and then look at this one, too. This one's crazy. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. And it's so badly drawn. He loves it. That You know that he's actually beating to that. Oh, he's sh- for days. But he he does that, and then he posts Botez Live, N-word exposed. I think he wants to be so like he wants to be noticed as well. Oh, obviously. Or he's trying to turn her like he's trying to be like they're my racist girlfriend. Also, the funniest thing about Andrea Botez is if you type her name in on Twitter, the very first the very first thing that pops up is somebody who has her picture on a bed, and then underneath it, it's like a flashlight, oh. and they're like sticking their dick in it. Dude, people are so depraved, bro. That's just funny though. <laughs> Imagine you're like, oh my god, let me just see what people are saying about me on Twitter. Click, 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 click. click. Well, she knows what she's doing. She's every post picture she posts is a thirst trap. Oh, dude, she is so, and she's hot too. And her sister's a gargantuan. And her sister looks like a freaking man. (laughs) That must suck being like the ugly. The crazy part is her ugly sister has more Instagram followers. And she's not even that. Like she's not ugly. Her sister is just like so attractive. Her sister is literally a ten out of ten. I couldn't imagine living in that world. I mean, I do live in that world, but... Oh, what, chess streamers? Chess streamers. Oh, dude, that's... There's so many avenues that we could be so good at if we just spent more time in it. I don't think I could ever be good at chess, but I think I could be good at streaming chess. Or, True. well, you would be good at streaming chess because you could actually be like, uh, no, 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 yes. No, 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 click, 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 like here, Caro, I have like seven. Yeah. That's the next wave, dude. It's ab and thigh pose, microgreens, getting shredded, chess, podcast, uh, online digital art business. All of that together. All in a day. In one hour. No ugly wife. <laughs> no diabetes. <laughs> dude. dude, okay, back to that. The, 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 oh, the guy, the video of him. He, it's because there's a thing called video submission. So... There's classes, right? Yeah, yeah. All these different classes. There's e-commerce. There's tr- learning how to trade stocks and crypto. There's, like, other shit. And then there's classes for content creation. And then these videos of the people. Yeah, so tell. the content creation class, you have to submit a video of yourself, like, some sort of video of yourself. And that's how you, like, they look at that video and they decide whether or not to give you access to the <laughs> like the the prestige courses which really I be, I'm pretty sure I haven't done it yet but I will do that one because the content creation stuff is what I'm interested in. Mm-hmm. I believe that what it's going to happen is you get into these bigger more advanced classes and it's going to lead back into we're going to teach you how to make tape clips. Yeah. And then we're going to teach you how to use it make it a YouTube account that's based around tape and then it's actually genius. Like the way that they're doing it is they're incentivizing you to make your own money. But then also you're promoting them, so they don't have to do anything. Yeah, that's been their whole thing since the beginning. That's why you can never open up your phone and not see a tape clip. because. And then every time you click in the comments, it'd be like, click on this course right now, and it leads back to the course. Yeah, and the course is just to teach other people how to do it. But you can. But what I'm planning on doing is taking the information that they give me, if they give me anything that's of value, and using that for like our stuff. Oh, yeah. And then not making clips for them because it's not worth the money. Like, you don't make no, them. No, you're not going to make any money. Dude, they have they have a hilarious page called Wins, and you go into Wins, and it's people posting their wins. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's insane. It's literally people being like, I just sold my Xbox on for, uh, Facebook 
like Facebook Marketplace, and then they'll show like money, and they'll be like small win, but here we go. It's like you know what? I'm gonna have to stop you right there because these fucking losers right here don't know anything about making money. They just sit in their house all day, wasting away and consuming and getting bigger and bigger, wider and wider until one day they're gonna fucking explode like a disgusting balloon that they are. That's true. Into nothingness. They're gonna ex- back to the void with you. Back to the void. Get back in the fucking void. That's You're a- not cut out for the third dimension. It's for winners like us. That's a good name for the episode. Back to the void. It's for winners like us who dominate and take and take more. Even when we're full, we take more because it's our plate and it's not full until we say it's full. And we're going to take off of your plate no matter what because it's ours. 